a toast to peace between New York and Chicago. While New York City won today, it's no contest which city takes the cake when it comes to, well, just about everything else. Deep dish pizza is quite good. gonna be nice. <laughs> but now you've gone too far. So let me explain something. Deep dish pizza is not only not better than New York pizza, <laughs> it's not pizza. <laughs> let me explain let me just... It's a <laughs> casserole. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't thought to complete your deep dish pizza by putting some canned onion rings on top of it. <laughs> it's a cornbread biscuit which you've melted cheese on, and then, in defiance of God and man and all things holy, you poured uncooked marinara sauce atop the cheese. Atop. <laughs> the cheese on top. The sauce, naked, cold, on display like some sort of sauce hooer. <laughs> You know the expression, there's no such thing as bad sex or bad pizza? Your pizza is like sex with a corpse made of sandpaper. Let me tell you something. This is not pizza. This is tomato soup in a bread bowl. This is an above-ground marinara swimming pool for rats. Let me tell you something about your not pizza. I want to know when I get drunk and pass out on my pizza that I'm not going to drown. Let me tell you something. Look at this. I look at this mud on. You son of a bitch. I look at this. Yeah. Gabagool. I look at this. <laughs> when I look at your deep dish pizza, I don't know whether to eat it or throw a coin in it and make a wish. <laughs> and if I made a wish, it would be that I wish for some real pizza. Now, now. In all due respect, I realize it is very cold in Chicago, very cold, it's windy, you need to be able to, I don't know, have a pizza and maybe cut it open and climb inside it like a tauntaun <laughs> to keep warm. <laughs> Seriously, who are you, who, who you kidding? <laughs> who uses an iron skillet to make a pizza? <laughs> you don't use an iron skillet to make a pizza, you use an iron skillet to fend off someone who tries to serve you <laughs> pizza made in skillet. <laughs> Here's how I know I'm right. You call it Chicago-style pizza. You call it deep-dish pizza, stuffed pizza. You know what we call it? Huh? You know what we call this? You know what we call this? Pizza. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And by the way, you don't put tomatoes and celery sauce on hot dogs either, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows there's three acceptable condiments for a hot dog. There's mustard, onions, and stagnant cart water. That's it. <laughs> Uh, a, a little while back on the program, I personally don't watch it, I think it's crass. Um, <laughs> I may have mentioned something about Chicago-style pizza <laughs> and how it, it, it tended to be less pizza-ish than pizza. I was gesticulating quite a bit during that clip. <laughs> uh, in articulating that sentiment, I may have implied uh, that deep-dish pizza uh, tastes like a string cheese that had been baked for two hours <laughs> in inside of Mike Ditka's ass. <laughs> so I said that on, on a, uh, my program, and apparently Chicago uh, has television. <laughs> are no doubt taking personal offense to the Daily Show host John Stewart's rant against our deep dish pizza. John Stewart trashing our Chicago style pizzas. I take big offense because yes. our Chicago deep dish is the best. Picking on our pizza. A little bit of a ribbing. Come on, take one bite and it is irresistible. I'm not a deep dish fan oh. myself. I love thin crust. I'm sorry. I get hate mail. I know, but I just deep uh, dish. I used uh, to ship it frozen to oh, California so oh, I can have it. I'm just not a deep dish fan. Get to the traffic and weather already! 
I'm late and I need to know if I need to wear a coat. <laughs> anyway, some, some people thought that, that my contribution to the pizza dialogue <laughs> was not particularly well-reasoned. John Stewart went on a rant. Stewart fired off a tirade. It continued like that for a while in that cheesy New York accent. Cheesy New York accent? Who the f do you think you are talking about a cheesy New York accent? You son of... You forget a... Wait a minute. You know what? I actually, I hear it now. You're right. Now that you mention it, it is somewhat pronounced. Uh, if I was ranting, um, well, I, I don't know what to say. It was nothing compared to what people on Twitter were, were ranting back, like, uh, you, John Stewart, for saying deep dish pizza isn't pizza. Die. <laughs> that particular Twitter user did not specify the method by which I should die, but I can <laughs> only assume it would be Poisoning by deep dish pizza. <laughs> and of course, whenever there's a spirited back and forth, you just know Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel is going to get involved. This is the gift that Mayor Rahm Emanuel sent to Jon Stewart on The Daily Show. The Daily Show posted this Vine video showing even a dog rejecting the deep dish pizza from the mayor. That's, Polly. That's our dog, Polly. That, uh... That right there is, is one of the Daily Show dogs, Quali. And uh, for the record, he, he, he didn't want the pizza. But I have seen that dog eat not only garbage, <laughs> but happily spend his entire day with his nose in another dog's butthole. <laughs> the other dog, by the way, is, is Parker. And in Quali's defense, Parker has an amazing butthole. <laughs> Elegant, sophisticated with just a sousson of snossage. <laughs> Plus, the quality. Do we see that picture again? He's got a little bit of the jungle fever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I've overreacted with my rant tirade. But it's only because of how special pizza is to all of us here in, in New York City. It's not just a a food to us. It's... Ah, take a look. If there's one thing I've learned from pretending to be an American all these years, it's that New York has the best f***ing pizza on the f***ing planet. But don't take my word for it. I love Chicago. You may remember I once led a parade there. But when it comes to pizza, nobody beats New York. Come on, Chicago. You know, your pizza's all right. It's good. It's all right. But come on, have you tried New York pizza? What makes New York pizza so perfect? It's not the crust, it's not the sauce, it's not the mozzarella, it's the magic. Oh, you don't believe in magic? Well, maybe that's not magic's problem. Maybe that's your problem. Yes, New York pizza is magic. It has always been there for us. When we struggled and needed a helping hand. Holy I can walk! Let's see you do that, deep dish when we were stuck and we just wanted to get home. Enjoy your ride. <laughs> when we were just trying to get health care and that goddamn sight wouldn't load. Watch this. <clears throat> Try it now. <laughs> when we were disappointed and needed a lift. Hmm? Trust me. You're gonna like this. Thank you, pizza. God, I look good. You sure as do. <laughs> you wanna kiss me, don't you? Yes, I do. Just do not talk. New York pizza makes the bad times good, the good times better, and the better times betterer. Bet that's then you gotta come up with something better. Anyway, the point is. Chicago, relax. Yeah, Chicago, we're sorry for implying that your pizza is inedible. It's edible. So congratulations, Chicago. Your pizza is edible. It's just not magic.
Chicagoans are not too upset.